Hey everyone, and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're gonna to take a real quick look at a brand new 2023 Salem Cruise Light 24 RL XL X Platinum Series. We're gonna take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside, and close her up here at the end. So stepping on up into the RV, this is a rear living room, one slide couples coach. So kind of starting over here on the slide out area, you'd have a U-shaped dinette. There's some storage underneath of there and that will make into a bed as well. Electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater. You can turn the lights on or turn the heat on as well. You have Furion sound bar up above and room for a nice size TV up there as well. There is a digital thermostat for your propane furnace and your air conditioner, along with pre-prepping for a King Wi-Fi uh, system you can do aftermarket. Looking over at the kitchen area, you have some overhead cabinet space, high-rise faucet, double bowl sink, the Furion glass front oven with a light built in, three burner stove top, light up knobs, flip down glass lid, the window behind the stove there does open, kind of makes it nice. So if you're in here cooking, you can still see out over your campsite area. You have the Furion 10.7 uh, cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator, Furion microwave. Currently they are doing the Coleman ducted AC in here. There's a couple full extending ball burn drawer. Got a drawers down below there. Jackknife sofa here will flip down, make into a small bed, and you have storage underneath of that as well. Big windows overlooking the backside area of your RV, and you have some overhead cabinet space as well. There's USB charger port and electric outlet on each side of that sofa also. Electric box with the breakers and fuses down there too. Up here we have our bathroom area, so you have a step-in shower with a pull-across door, ABS tub surround, skylight up above, vent fan up top, some cabinet space over there, foot flush toilet. You have sliding doors to block off the bathroom area for privacy. Little medicine cabinet, some storage under your sink as well. So a really nice roomy bathroom, plenty of room to come in here, get undressed, get in and out of the shower. A little bit of space here. It looks like that's probably about, I'd say five inches deep roughly. And then the other side over here being a little bit deeper. And then your bedroom area up front here. You have hanging closet on each side of the bed, overhead shelf space, uh, electric outlet, USB charger ports. This is what they refer to as a camper king bed in the Salem lineup. It is 66 inches wide. So it's six inches wider than a traditional queen. Um, I think some mattress factories actually refer to it as an Olympic queen, uh, but they call it a camper king for the Salem lineup. Over there you have a window that opens, emergency exit area. On the ceiling up there is electric outlet and cable outlet. There's a backer in the wall, so you could put a TV over here if you wanted to. The uh, little closet area here, kind of see what that looks like. And there is a little hole in the side on each side. So you could set things down in there and you can see the electric outlet kind of down there in the corner, again on each side. Looking over at the other side here, we have another window over there, light switch. There's a, another little closet area over here as well. 
So you do have a decent closet there. That's floor to ceiling closet area. And then the bed will raise up as well. It's on shocks. So you have some little cubbies and a little bit of shoe storage below that. And then you can also get into your outside storage compartment from here too. And there's also a little laundry hamper right down there. So overall, pretty roomy little setup for a smaller, a little bit lighter weight couples coach. If you're not looking for something too big, something that'll fit on a lot of different campsites, this will definitely work good for a nice couple. Um, we're going to head outside here. I want to show you around the outside real quick. So let's walk on outside. Then we're going to come back in and we'll close her back up for you. So spinning on around here, this one has the power awning, LED light strip built in adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff, manual override in the front arm head. You have a couple outdoor speakers. They're using the more ride step above entry step. You have double axle, drum brakes, steel wheels, six gallon gas electric water heater right there. Your freshwater tank drain is just below those more ride steps back there. Large folding entry handle there to help you get in and out of the RV. There's also cable outlet, electric outlet over here, furnace exhaust. Down below there, hot and cold low point water drains. Really nice size pass through storage compartment here across the front. They even did the back of the door here as kind of a dry erase board. Magnetic holders to help hold them up. It has quick drop jacks. That's something new for 2023, so they did that a little different. Now this one here in the video was done with the Platinum Package upgrade. And that is kind of a new feature they started offering for some of the 2023s for limited time. It might eventually become an option, but basically it's fiberglass sidewalls and rear wall instead of aluminum but the front, however, is still a nice smooth rolled aluminum. So you'll see some of these out there in only metal and some dealers will have them in fiberglass for a limited time, it sounds like. Again, we'll see if they decide to make it more of a permanent thing. Up front here, you have lower diamond plate metal, 220 pound propane tanks, power tongue jack, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, a seven way Bargman plug, room for one or possibly two batteries back here. There are zero batteries from the RV maker, but if you do purchase from Couches RV Nation, it will come with at least one. Heavy duty safety chains there. But a nice, clean, smooth look with this fiberglass feature. Now, right here on the side are some very important informational stickers. I'm gonna take a second here and pop these up for you. I want you guys to see these so you know a little bit more about them. The very first one popping up is your main production data sticker. This right here has your VIN number, the production date, axle size, but most importantly, gross vehicle weight. That's the most you can load the RV up to. Axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined do not exceed that number. Next is your unloaded vehicle weight sticker, basically telling you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line, and it also has the length on it. Uh, next, we have the cargo carrying capacity sticker, basically telling you how much gear you can load into the RV before you exceed that gross weight number on the first sticker. And last but not least, tire sticker here telling you tire size, but most importantly here, cold tire pressure. Very important, make sure you check your tire pressure from time to time so they don't get too low and blow out on you. So keep up with that. Over here we have the dump area, and this right here is where your gray and your black dump out of. All in one area, pull the black first, get the nasty out, pull the gray, help rinse out your dump hose and stuff. Black tank flush to clean out the toilet tank, city water hook up here. You have a detachable 30 amp electric cord. 
probably stretched out about 25, maybe 30 feet there. Now this customer chose to go with a Solaire slide-out awning topper here. So you're seeing an awning that rolls in and out with the slide-out as it goes in and out. And it's pre-prepped for that from the factory. But basically that helps shade the room, helps repel a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, things like that from getting on top of your room there. Cable hookup on the back section back here. And on the back side here, we have a traditional four inch square tube bumper. A lot of people store their dump hose in there. Um, this one was ordered with the optional spare tire and cover. Spare tire and cover is a, an option because some people buy these, park them by lakeside, never move them, don't want the tire. So Salem leaves it up to you whether you want it. Most dealers do stock it with the tire. You do have a pre-prep for a Furion rear observation camera up there. Really nice feature to add aftermarket. Talk with your sales guy about that. That right there allows you to see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road or backing into a campsite. And then you also have the Lippert ladder prep up there as well. And basically it's a telescoping ladder that comes down, touches the ground, allowing you to climb up onto your roof. But it is removable, stow it in the storage compartment so you don't have to worry about anybody's kids or anything climbing up there, falling off, getting hurt. And it's rated for more weight than a traditional RV ladder that's mounted. All right, so let's head back in here real quick and we are going to close this thing up. And I did forget to mention earlier when we were inside, we have solar on board. This is another feature that was changed up for 2023. So this has a 30 amp solar charge controller you're seeing right here. Uh, it's either a 190 or 200 watt solar panel on the roof. And down here, you're gonna have water pump switch, water heater on gas switch. The electric switch is on the outside lower left corner of the water heater. Some light buttons, awning slide buttons, and a dimmer switch or on off switch for some of the lights inside. So closing this thing up, pretty quick and easy to do. All you gotta do is hit the button. It's a 12 volt slide motor. They're currently using the Schwintec slide motor on this model. Again, this is 12 volt, so as long as you got a good charged up battery, this thing should be able to roll right in and out for you. Okay, so when it is all the way in, you can see it is a very snug fit if the table is in place. So a lot of people on this model will drop the table down out of the way so it's easier for them to kind of scoot by here and get to the bathroom or bedroom or refrigerator just by moving the table out of the way. Uh, so I would definitely recommend that if you feel you need to get into the RV during a rest area stop, something along those lines, you know, stopping at Walmart or grocery store, wherever, so you can load some stuff in here or just take a few seconds and run the room right on out. All right, guys, thanks again for taking the time to watch my RV video. Be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. They will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. Thanks again.